Hey, what's going on? Mark here for Unoriginal Noobs, and welcome back after a uber duber long week of like two weeks. We'll glitch again. Um, what happened is, you know, the end of school, you have finals. I thought that was more important. Turns out I made honor roll, so that was good. And then I went away to a cabin for like a week. So I couldn't do anything there. And I expected that, I thought the second owner of the channel would put one of his like strategy games up or whatever, but turns out he didn't. So let's just cut down to the chase. We are in the Minecraft 1.7 update with just a few new, holy crap is this glitching. Um, anyway, in the 1.7 update, and there's just a few things. The first one being the fact that you can place torches on top of fences, as such is shown in the following video. The next is the fact that fences can be stacked. Aha. Uh -huh. I thought they were able to be stacked before, like up to, I think they were only at like up to four or something. I can't remember, it's been two weeks. Such a long time. And uh, there is a new item. Um, it's called shears. And what it does is if there was a sheep, click, hit, you know, let's turn on way far. There we go. All right, let's, let's spawn sheep. Is that the command? Aha. Normally, you just punch the sheep and you get wool. Not anymore. You have to get shears and you have to right click on the sheep and boop! Pops out some wool. Like so easily. Alright, we can get rid of that. Ow! Oh, there's another thing with shears. You can now go up to trees and take the leaves off of them. In an instant, and you can make your own hedges or tree forts with them. I just thought that was pretty cool. Only they will start disappearing because they're not near wood. Not my fault. Okay, what else is there? Oh, the TNT. You've always had times where you build something and then I have anyway, and you accidentally place down a piece of TNT. And it totally just fucks up your whole thing. Well, now, if to traditionally detonate TNT, you would click on it. Now, when we click on it, now look what happens. Boop! It pops right out of the ground. And it must be triggered one of two ways. Let's stick this stuff in here. We're gonna need one of these. No, we're not. What am I doing? Hello. God. We got it. Okay. The first way is a redstone trigger. That, with that you could already do that. But now you have to do it with a redstone trigger. Or, you could like flint and steel, light it on fire, and then wait for it. There we go. And then it will detonate and explode. As such. The next is my favorite update, the biggest update of all. Pistons! Yes, they were pissing me off when they weren't in the game and I had to install a mod because I have tons of mods and it's hard to keep track of them to update all the mods at the same time is painful. But anyway, we have the two kinds, the sticky and then the not so sticky. And so, I'm just going to show you some of the properties of them. As some of you may know, but some of you may not know. A sticky piston, when is pushed out on a block, and then when it retracts, we'll pull it back, we'll pull the block back in with it. A normal piston will not. Just, it won't. Nothing we can do about it. And if it's all, and if it's out there like this, and you place a torch down here and then let it go, it will pull the block back. 
Now I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. You can't tell anyone. It's a glitch, really. Um, I gotta remember how to do it. Whoa! Get out of my face. I think this is how you do it. I think. I think. And yeah, this is it. And then if you stick a sticky piston here. And then if you have it going like this, you will watch the magic and you will be wowed. We need to extend this more or less. How much time are we at? Well, oh my, yeah, we have tons of time. Okay, and then we just need to place place, wait a minute, this is going to extend to here, so I need to put this here, okay, oh crap, it's turning night time, now look, if you set this up, and now if you place a block, so if, if you found a piece of diamond door, and I uh, this is a glitch, so I would, I would call it cheating, Let's say you have one block of diamond ore, but you want to brag to your friends that you're uber rich. Here's what you do. Activate the redstone circuit. Wait, we did it wrong. We did it wrong. Oh, God. Damn it. We did it wrong. We did it wrong. Oh, frick. Alright, let's, let's go do that again. Um... One moment. Alright, here we go. What we must do is do that. I'm going to go into a continuous loop, and here I have yet to master this. Okay, one second. One second. I'll get it. Stay with me here. God dang it. Let's try it on this one instead. There we go. It will make it start spazzing out. And now, if you place your block kind of right where that sticky piston is, where it would be retracted in, you just gotta get it in there. Right now it's glitching out. And now what you have to do is you have to come over here and you have to time it. And just time it, and you will see eventually when the timing is right, you will be multiplying diamond blocks. Ho oh, ho snap baby. We now have our own diamond block production. And it can just stay here forever and all we need to do is just mine, mine, and then mine. I'm sure this will be patched soon. I did not find this. I found it on YouTube where I find everything and then remake it in my own version. As what most people do. Okay, I think that's everything. Oh yeah, and the next thing is removed Herobrine. Hero? H-E-R-O-B-R-I-N. I honestly have no freaking idea what that is. It was in the list of updated crap and stuff. Not crap, but you know, you get what I mean. So, anywho, thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I will probably have another video on the physics of the pistons as they do vary from the traditional pistons mod. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked. Let's end in death and silence. This is Mark Lisway for Unoriginal Noobs, and I am out. Mm.